Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today in this video I'm sharing the March 2021 forecast for Gemini Ascendance. Now I'll bring the chart right uh, here so you can see which planets are where. Uh, we see that uh, Mercury rules your Ascendant where number three is written in the chart. Now Mercury also rules the fourth house of mother, property, happiness, uh, your home environment. Now Mercury is sitting in the 8th house with uh, Jupiter and Saturn. Now Mercury will move out of the 8th house on 10th of February into the house of luck. Now so overall uh, Mercury will be beneficial and uh, will provide good results in your home environment and uh, general happiness. Uh, you will use your intelligence or buddhi in matters uh, relating to your mother, home, vehicles, and all sorts of comforts. Now, your finances this month will be good uh, as well. Uh, your speech will be uh, nice and sweet uh, with uh, members of your family. Uh, you will be emotionally more uh, bonded uh, with family members and you will be emotionally satisfied with the comforts around uh, your own home. And now, Sun, when we talk about Sun, Sun is uh, well placed in your chart this month. It is making sure that your efforts in whatever field uh, you apply will not go waste. Uh, it will be definitely rewarded. All your efforts will be rewarded. Now, luck will favor you too. Uh, you will be involved in some uh, dharmic activities this month, and some will be moving into the house of uh, profession and career. Uh, so here, what Sun does is, um, Sun is innately strong and will ensure that your confidence at work will increase. Uh, you will be courageous uh, at work, and, we will, uh, and you will put in all the efforts needed to shine in your work. Now, if you are in the media or in the acting profession, uh, you should see great results this month. Uh, now, any creative work that you endeavor this month should result in a favorable situation. So anybody who is in the media uh, or uh, acting profession should do well. Now, looking at Mars in your chart this month, it rules the sixth house as well as the 11th house. Now, Mars is sitting in the 12th house with Rahu. Now, Rahu is a shadowy planet. Now, Mars and Rahu together creates a yoga called Angarak Yoga. Now, what this yoga does is it, Mars is full of energy and it will make you argumentative and full of hot temper. Now, it could specially cause a difference of opinion with your spouse during this period leading to... Uh, uh, hurtful feelings. Now also your expenditure this month will be on the rise and so have control on your expenses, your anger and don't be argumentative. And when it comes to career, um, I would say tread carefully when dealing with the authorities. You could experience some delays or obstacles. Um, if you have a, any project that is ongoing that you're trying to move forward at this time, uh, you may face some um, opposition or delay and it is possible that uh, your input may not be uh, taken well by your peers or your employer. So just try and go through uh, your daily routine without expecting much and uh, maintain the uh, status quo. So overall, I will say March is going to be a month of mixed results for you. Uh, be careful about your expenditures, control your temper, and do not get into unnecessary arguments, as I said earlier. And you can help yourself by uh, taking care of these things, in which case I would say when there is no loss, uh, the result will be overall good. So hope you liked this video, and if you liked uh, it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification so when I post new videos for you, uh, you will be notified right away. So stay safe and have loads of fun.